Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar from prototype to final product, developing the next generation of IoT embedded systems with low risk and great scalability. This webinar is presented by Thordex, and we have today as our guests Sierra Wireless. My name is Guilherme Fernandes. I work in Thordex Brazil office. And today, here with me, we have Leonardo Vega from Toradex, and we also have Carlos and Felipe, both working for Sierra Wireless Brazil team. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. And before we start the webinar, while people are still logging in, I would like to give you some uh, information about the webinar. Uh, first of all, there is a message box on the, info, on the webinar tool. We will be pasting important links and information on this uh, message box, so you don't have to worry about taking the notes. The webinar itself is being recorded and we will make it available for you in the next week. And during the webinar, you are welcome to type in your questions in the webinar tool. After the webinar, we will have a question and answer session where we will uh, go through the questions you can do during the webinar and provide you the answers. Um, so, starting the webinar now with the content. I would like to explain to you why we are doing this webinar. Basically, in the last years, the connectivity become a very common uh, requirement for most of our customers. We have the big boost of IoT, uh, maybe on the last two years, but connectivity comes uh, since a while. Or I can risk to say that connectivity is becoming a requirement so common as a simple GPIO. For this reason, we understand how important this is for our customers, and we developed this material to provide you information and further discussions on how we implement connectivity on your embedded design. For this, we partner up with our guests from Sierra Wireless. Here in Brazil, we have a close collaboration in several projects and customer opportunities together, where Prodex is providing the core uh, system and the embedded heart of the system, while Sierra is providing all the connectivity stack from hardware up to the uh, IoT platform. So I would like to welcome Carlos to say hello to, to you here today. Carlos from Sierra. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Guilherme. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you, uh, Guilherme, for inviting us to the show to talk uh, a little bit more of, about Sierra Wireless, our solutions, and how we are addressing this uh, IoT challenge. And um, I, I hope you enjoy what we, we have prepared for you. Thank you, Carlos. So before we move on, I would like to highlight the key objectives of this presentation. First, we would like to present solutions uh, with off-the-shelf hardware, which will allow you to quickly prototype your ideas, but still be scalable and capable to transform such ideas and proof of concepts into reliable and volume producer products. Okay? So, on the technical uh, content, we will demonstrate live how to connect a Trodex customizable single board computer with a mini PCI Express form factor LTE modem to the internet. And finally, we will demonstrate how you can manipulate data 
using the Sierra Wireless Hair Vantage IoT platform. I would like to explain a little bit better about Toradex for those who are not familiar with our company yet. So Toradex is a Swiss company. We are spread all over the world with sales and support offices. The main cores of our value proposition is direct sales and local stock, which means that you can buy directly our hardware from our offices around the world. We have a free support and a big partner ecosystem to help customers to speed up their development and develop successful products. We focus on hugadized and reliable products with 10 years life cycle and all the features customers need on their embedded devices. We develop system on models, ARM-based system on models, and we also have uh, off-the-shelf carrier boards, which can transform our system on models into single board computers. And we want to offer you more than a hardware. We want to offer you the lowest cost of ownership of a development, which means we want to speed up your development and allow you that you can quickly develop your product and not having so big upfront costs like the development, schematics, routine, and prototype costs. Now I will ask Carlos to, to tell you a little bit about Sierra Wireless. Right, uh, talking about Sierra Wireless, it is a Canada-based company founded in 1993, uh, 35 years ago. It's a company of almost uh, 1,500 employees uh, worldwide. Uh, leader in IoT device to cloud solutions. It is the number one in seller modules and gateways with a revenue uh, of almost $700 million uh, with a presence in, in almost every country in the world. Uh, we have customers in more than 130 countries. With uh, a big innovation spirit, we invest a, a lot of uh, our revenue, innovation and R&D being very innovative and launching uh, several technologies through, through the time. We have uh, a strong presence uh, in several countries in terms of R&D, marketing, sales operation. We also have manufacturing uh, facilities in China, uh, Vietnam and Brazil. Uh, and support from sales and technical support uh, in, in different uh, uh, regions would make us uh, very close to our customers and the challenges they are involved with. It's important to say we also have a, a big chain of uh, partners and, and distributors that can also um, support our customers. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, so before we start with the technical content, I would like to make a little pool with you. So I will start our pool in your screen. You can see our question, which is, what are the wireless connectivity options you plan for your next design or design upgrade? So let me start the pool here. And I think you can see the, this consultation on your screen. I kindly ask you to provide your answer you can select uh, multiple items. Uh, it's very common that uh, a project presents more than one connectivity solution. And so I give you some seconds while we are collecting the information. Okay. Thanks for that. I will close the pool now. Thanks for the information. And let's continue with our technical content. So now I want to, to show you the hardware we will use today. So 
On the next side, we will use uh, a customizable single board computer, which is composed by a Xora carrier board and uh, a Palis IMX6 quad core, which is our system model based on the NXP i.mx6 processor. The Xora carrier board has several interfaces to the external world like uh, two CAM interfaces, three RS-232, GPIOs, I2C, SPI, PWMs, and also USBs and Ethernet. On the bottom side of the carrier board, you can see SATA interface and especially a mini PCI Express from factory interface, uh, which is the big start from our presentation today. I also would like you to note that we have a SIM card holder which is already connected to the right, uh, uh, right pins on the PCI Express interface. This single board computer is customizable because the Apalis system all model family is a pin compatible family. Therefore, uh, any of the Apalis models can fit in the Xora carrier board or on your customized carrier board. So we could have the IMX6 dual core. We are using today the IMX6 quad core, but you could have in the future the IMX8 quad max. IMX8 quad max. Uh, Apalis IMX8 Quad Max, it's a new release from Thoradex. We were presenting this system model on the embedded board uh, last month. And it's based on the new i.mx8 from NXP. You can find more information on our web page about this product. On Sierra Wireless hardware and software site, Carlos will explain what kind of solutions and what we will use today. Uh, okay, prior to explain uh, about the, the, the hardware and uh, platform we are going to use today, I'd like to in, do a short introduction about different uh, business units of Sierra Wireless in terms of hardware and services. Uh, we have uh, OEM solutions. Uh, covers uh, all hardware, embedded hardware needed for some connectivity uh, or positioning uh, implementation. We have uh, the mini car, uh, which is a mini car and EM series that are uh, PCI Express based solutions. But we also have uh, some uh, uh, embedded solutions like HL and WP series. In terms of uh, other uh, uh, technologies regarding uh, short range Wi Fi and Bluetooth, we have uh, the, the BX series. Uh, and uh, talking about uh, positioning, we have a GPS and GNSS uh, modules. Uh, and the other uh, business unit, we have uh, enterprise solutions uh, that. Um, have has um, some ready products like hardware's and gateways. Um, if um, it's tailored to uh, applications, uh, application that uh, you need some uh, some reliable and some red uh, red uh, solution implemented. So you can count on Sierra Wireless to have this uh, type of uh, products. In terms of services, the Sierra Wireless is a MVNO, M2 MVNO, already uh, working in the US, Latin America, and Europe. You can count on, on Sierra Wireless to provide uh, an edge to, to cloud solution, complete solution, uh, and which also involves uh, the AirVantage platform. So in this session, we will use uh, as hardware MC module an advantage platform. Uh, from hardware perspective, uh, the, this mini car is a LTE CAT6 uh, module. Uh, we can say it's almost a, a global uh, coverage uh, solution. Uh, it, it, it's compatible with uh, several uh, LTE bands uh, worldwide. Um, 
there is a, a 3G fallback uh, and some interesting features uh, in terms of uh, dual scene uh, switching as GNSS uh, position integrated in the module. Uh, and um, in terms of uh, hard, uh, software implementation, uh, you, you can take advantage of uh, the, the, the drivers uh, already available for this, uh, for uh, host or operating systems like uh, Windows 7 to 10, uh, Linux, and Android. Um, important to say, this is a product certified and approved by several uh, in several countries like uh, CE and NCC certification in Brazil, uh, and also by some uh, carriers in, in in different countries, which is uh, mandatory in in some places in the world. Thank you, Carlos. And so. Uh I show in these pictures here uh, the setup we have here today. Okay, so we basically on the left side picture you can see the uh, Ixora carrier board. Uh, there is the power supply. There are some LEDs uh, connected to the GPIO pins or analog pins, and you can see the serial port for the Linux terminal connected uh, on the top. On the right side, you see the bottom of the board, and you see the MC7430 connected to it. You see the antennas, and the, also the GPS antenna is going to outside. And I uh, will now transfer the control of the presentation to Leonardo, which will provide you an overview how you can support the mini PCI Express molding into our Linux DSP and uh, the OS. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Leonardo, and I am an FAE from Toradex Brazil. I'm here with Felipe. And hello, everybody. Uh, Felipe Rodriguez here. And I am a field application engineer for Sierra Wireless in Brazil and also for Latin America countries. Okay, and we will, in this first part of the technical demonstration, uh, show how to connect to a mobile provider of internet. And first of all, I will switch on my webcam. Let me give me just a second to switch my webcam on. It's okay. And, and I will first assemble the hardware. So here we have the XRP here board with an, a light dependent resistor. And I will put the computer module here. We also have the Sierra Wireless uh, AirPrime modem. Uh, it has an antenna for the LTE connection and another antenna here for the GPS. And I will connect it to the mini PCI Express port. And that's it. This is all that is required to have the hardware set up. Uh, of course, I need to apply power and to access the Linux terminal, I have to uh, access it through the UART uh, for the bug. That's okay. I will now switch off the webcam and in my screen, you can see a black screen in which I will access the Linux terminal. But before, powering on the board, I would like to uh, tell about which uh, software is needed in order to enable the Sierra wireless modem into the Toradex Linux system. And we need uh, the kernel drivers, which are the QMI drivers and the SDK from Sierra wireless. You can find both in the Sierra wireless uh, source and I have the links here to show you the Linux QMI driver and the 
Linux QMI SDK software. Okay. Uh, the Sierra wireless source also have uh, many documentation sources like application developer guides and other like AT command reference manuals. Uh, I will not go through all of them, but you will receive the links by the end of this webinar. And you need to compile the QMI drivers against the Linux kernel that is deployed on the board. And therefore, we have the Torodex Developer Center, which has many articles, including an article telling how to build the Linux kernel and drivers from source code. Uh, then we can go back to the terminal and start power on the board. Uh, you will see uh, the system booting right now. Let's just wait a few seconds. Uh, it's important to notice that I have already compiled and deployed the kernel drivers and the SDK to the embedded system here. Okay, and now we have to make sure that it is working. And uh, before that, I'd like to ask Felipe to help me here uh, about uh, what exactly is the QMI? Uh, what does it mean? And uh, what's the difference between PPP and... Okay, uh, so a uh, QMI is a binary protocol designed mainly to replace uh, AT command communication with the modems. Uh, and also uh, QMI is optimized for uh, throughput performance. Uh, when using QMI, you eliminate the, the need of using PPP, which is the point-to-point -point protocol. And this is uh, very useful because uh, we, are, we are here dealing with a high-speed modem. So uh, it's quite important to have uh, the best performance uh, possible, okay? And uh, QMI is divided. Um, First, uh, we have the QMI, QMI driver, uh, which is the, um, how can I say, the interface from the oper operational system to the module, to the modem. And uh, also, uh, we have the QMI SDK, which uh, allows to ease the software integration on host side, uh, providing a set of APIs uh, and code samples uh, for the model for the model management management okay uh, and uh, besides that uh, we also offer on the uh, TMI SDK the connection manager uh, we provide the, the binaries and the source code um, to easy the integration uh, which the with the final application okay thank you Felipe and now uh, let's make sure things are working on the board. Uh, regarding the QMI interface, uh, the QC QMI 0 and QC QMI 1 uh, devices are the one which provides the interface to the modem. And you can see the kernel messages right here on the screen, uh, which tells that they are set up. We can confirm here, seeing the kernel log. Okay. And we also have uh, a few uh, UARTs emulated over USB. Which provide interfaces to AT commands and the GPS coordinates uh, in the NMIA uh, format. Um, we will use those interfaces only for the GPS, all the rest will be with the QMI and, and the APIs. Okay, and just to make sure that the devices are available, we can check here, they are mounted under dev. And that's okay. Besides that, uh, we have the interfaces, the 
the ETH1 and ETH2 are the ones uh, for the Sierra wireless modem. ETH0 is the Ethernet cable interface. We will not use that, of course. And right now we know that the kernel drivers are working and we can go to the SDK. All right, I have deployed it here. It is, it is the Sierra Wireless Linux QMI SDK. Okay, and we have a few samples here, sample applications. And among them, there is the connection manager, which we will use to connect to a carrier uh, internet provider here from Brazil. And let's do it right now. So I will start this application. Okay, I have to pass the, the SDK binary to it. Uh, let's see here what I have. Okay, I forgot just one piece of information here uh, right now. And then we can start an LTE session and make uh, other, other configuration things. And I will start the LTE data session. The IP v4 v6 option, uh, it will be selected uh, automatically. And I have some carriers from Brazil. Uh, and I have chosen uh, this one named Claro, which I will select right now. And it is connected. Now I can exit the application and just check that the Sierra Wireless Modem interface now has an IPv4 uh, IP address assigned. Uh, unluckily, this carrier blocks the ping port, uh, which is why I have uh, separated here a, a picture URL uh, to download the picture and make sure that we have connectivity. So let me first remove the one here from the previous webinar. That's okay. And now let's download it, this picture to make sure we have internet connectivity. Okay. And here we go. Well, this is the first part of the practical demonstration. Right now, I would like to return the presentation to Guilherme and get back to you in a few minutes with the cloud and the AirVantage uh, demonstration. Thank you very much. Thanks, Leonardo and Felipe. Uh, so let's move forward with the presentation. Now we have connectivity on our board. Uh, this is maybe one of the key messages I would like to provide you during this webinar. So we started the webinar talking about the requirements on new embedded uh, device designs our connectivity and uh, we show you how to create a uh, embedded device with off-the-shelf hardware and reliable hardware which is able to connect wirelessly to the internet there are many use cases for this kind of hardware maybe you have low volumes and you are not even thinking about developing your own a uh, hardware solution, or maybe you want just to create a proof of some concept, which may become on a later stage a volume product, or even you are releasing a new product and you are not sure about the volumes and the market success we will have. Uh, in any of these cases, 
Uh, using off-the-shelf products or reliable off-the-shelf products can help you a lot because you will have very low upfront costs on engineering or development and this kind of uh, costs. Yet, Toradex and Sierra Wireless hardware allow you to move from a prototype or from a low volume product to a high volume or optimized product, uh, which includes do some cost optimization on your goods, uh, optimize and select the right interfaces and connectors you want on your final no, device. Uh, and the special about it is that you have a very low risk once your prototypes were already developed partially on your end solution. Another thing is that besides the low risk, you have also a fast time to market to do that. Your software stack, it's already validated. Your processor capabilities are already validated. The connectivity, it's already tested. And this can provide you a big advantage when moving to prototype. On Toradex and Sierra side, or from both sides, we help our customers in such situations. The Xora Carrier Board, for example, has all the schematics and Altium data available for download. This means if you don't want to buy the Xora from Teradex, but want to choose your favorite EMS provider to manufacture the board for you, you can do that. Even better, if you want to design your own board with your own connectors, Toradex will provide you all the carrier board design support, as you can see on my screen over here. So we have the reference designs, we have carrier board design guides, we have a pinup designer, we have partners who can provide, provide engineering services for you. Also, on the module side, you can rely on Apalis or Colibri families of ARM computer on modules. Both families are pin compatible inside the family, which means that you have full scalability of your, uh, of your design. You can get a more powerful uh, processor or you can go for a cost optimized uh, solution. I ask now Carlos to tell a little bit what Sierra Wireless can offer on this direction. Uh, from Sierra Wireless perspective, I talk about uh, a fast prototype uh, implementation like uh, we are running today, um, together with the Exora uh, board. Uh, we have the mini car uh, modules that can uh, easily uh, offer a, a, a cellular connection to your application. Uh, in this case, with MC7430, uh, we can uh, address uh, LTE uh, CAT6 um, speed up to 300 megabits uh, per second, which is a, a very high throughput. But in case you need to scale and increase the throughput, uh, you can easily change the, the, the mini car version, for instance, for a uh, CAT 12 or even uh, uh, in the future, a uh, 5G um, module. So you can find in, in Sierra Wireless website, the whole portfolio in terms of uh, hardware uh, here in sierrawireless.com. Um, here we are showing, displaying this, uh, the mini car series and the EM series, uh, but we also have uh, the HL and the WP series that will demand some uh, hardware, the dedicated hardware implementation, which also Sierra can support you on, on collaterals, application nodes, uh, reference designs, and in order to, to speed up your uh, development uh, uh, process. We also have uh, some technical support team uh, spread out in the world that can 
also um, support uh, all the, the engineering efforts from, from customer side. Um, and here, uh, showing from prototype to, to product uh, uh, concept, you can easily migrate from uh, a mini car to some uh, dedicated solution uh, after validating all, all uh, concepts and uh, uh, requirements from connectivity side. Uh, but uh, it's not restricted, the mini car is not restricted to, to prototyping. Uh, it's also um, intended for uh, higher volume uh, uh, implementation and application. Uh, this is uh, used in computers, for instance, in outer boards, in different type of application. So do not take this as a only prototype uh, uh, alternative. Thanks, Carlos. And now uh, we know our embedded engineers like are not only hardware, they are a big part of this is software. So we would like to start showing you the Air Vantage, the IoT platform from Sierra Wireless. Carlos is with you again. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not only software, it's about the services and um, about the platform, uh, IoT is a, a big challenge in terms of uh, system implementation. It's not restricted to, to hardware only. So uh, Sierra, what Sierra offers in, in, in this side is uh, we have a platform, an IoT platform, that's intended to, to embed uh, all type of challenges you have uh, uh, in terms of connectivity, the, device management and application and enablement. So um, in a single platform, we can accelerate the implementation, reducing the, uh, the, the time to mark the, uh, delivery uh, and increasing the ROI because uh, you, you don't need to, to invest upfront a lot of uh, resources in our own infrastructure. You can take advantage of uh, uh, CI implementation uh, and change the business module from uh, CAPEX to OPEX. Uh, 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 the nice thing in, the, the, in our platform, we can, in, it's already pre-integrated pre with the Sierra Wireless hardware. So, we, for instance, we can perform a firmware over there, upgrade uh, uh, unlimited uh, of our modules using the AirVantage. This is a, it's very important when you have a thousand pieces in, in the field. Uh, of course, you need to, to, to provide some data uh, and cloud uh, uh, data monitoring, uh, alerting. Uh, we will show in the demonstration today. And the security is, is, uh, is mandatory when you have an IoT implementation. From the stack uh, uh, of this implementation, of AirVantage implementation, uh, we can see all type of um, uh, how we address, the, the, for instance, connectivity management. We can uh, handle, we can, uh, all the, the, the subscription of uh, uh, C, uh, UICC, the SIM cards uh, in, in the field, for instance. It's uh, very complex when you have uh, uh, all, this, all devices in the, in the field. So we also can uh, implement the, the device management, the data management, uh, how we connect to this data, all we collect from, from the, the devices to, to the cloud or your business intelligence using for like a cloud, some third parties, uh, cloud services or systems and um, build up all these, um, this whole solution. Here, how we interface with our advantage from the device side in, in here in the South Mall. We have, uh, we, we can implement using some standardized uh, protocols like MQTT, uh, Lightweight, M2M, uh, HTTP, uh, a lot of uh, uh, standardized uh, protocols. From the, in the northbound uh, API, 
when you connect to your VI, to your system, own systems, or to your ERP, uh, you can take advantage of uh, some web services like uh, HTTP, HTTPS, uh, some REST APIs, all uh, embedded with uh, uh, in security, following the, the some standardized uh, in, in security uh, protocols in the in industry. Okay, thanks, Carlos. And so now let's see this working live. So I invite Leonardo and Felipe again to jump in and show us a little bit of code and how we can connect to the air page. Thank you very much, Guilherme. Uh, I will share my screen with you. And you're seeing now the Linux console. Uh, first of all, I'd like to switch on the webcam again and talk about the scenario here. We, what we will send to the cloud. And what was chosen is a light-dependent resistor uh, to send luminosity data, which I can easily cover with my finger. Okay. Uh, we also have the internal uh, IMX6 SOC uh, temperature uh, sensor. Okay. And the GPS data. We have an antenna, which is outside uh, my window here in the office, uh, and I, we will send uh, latitude and longitude coordinates to the cloud. Uh, that being said, I will talk about the application. I have written a Python script, but I will not get into details of implementation. I will only open the script here briefly to give you an overview of how data is being sent. And uh, I'd like to begin here with the imports. We, we, we use the uh, UART port emulated over USB to configure and get uh, NMEA formatted GPS data. Then we have to parse this data to get the latitude and longitude. And we send uh, it to AirVantage using the MQTT protocol along with the uh, luminosity sensor and the uh, temperature sensor. Uh, this data goes encoded in a JSON string. Uh, here, AirVantage is the MQTT broker, and the messages are published uh, to a topic specific to this device. So if I switch here to the AirVantage uh, monitor, you can see we have a serial number for the Toradex device, which coincides with this topic uh, in which we will publish the messages, uh, as well as the uh, device serial. Okay. And we have the ports for the GPS. Now let me just go forward. We have the paths to the sensors in the CSFS, and then we parse GPS data. We have a function for parsing GPS data. I will just go briefly through the code, but uh, we will share this with you so you can uh, see it in more detail later. We have callbacks for the MQTT the GPS initialization and the first fix, which takes a few seconds. And then we connect to the AirVantage. In the main loop, data is being published uh, every 10 seconds. We have here the luminosity sensor, which I have put in a scale from zero to 10 and the CPU temperature in degrees Celsius, as well as the GPS coordinates uh, encoded in a JSON string. And that's it. Now let me close the application source code. And I will start this application. And while it get the GPS fix, 
let me show you here uh, the dashboard we have prepared for this uh, in the Sierra Wireless Cloud. It has many sensor data and things like that. Uh, and before I start showing you the dashboard, I would like to ask Filippi to give you an overview about the AirVantage platform so we know where to start and what can we do uh, with the, the online interface to the platform. Okay, thanks, Leonardo. Um, so uh, I will firstly talk about the menus, uh, the most important uh, functions you will find in AirVantage, okay? Uh, first one is the register menu, uh, and it enables you to easily add and activate uh, new systems in one single step. Um, just to, to clarify, a system uh, may be any connected device to, to AirVantage, okay? Maybe a Sierra uh, modem, or maybe a gateway, a third-party hardware, and so on, okay? Uh, and uh, once your system uh, systems are registered, uh, you can start using AirVantage. And uh, the register can be done uh, manually, as you can see here on this, uh, um, on this screen on this uh, interface, uh, but uh, you can also do it uh, for a batch uh, or uh, for a, uh, a lot of devices using CSV files, okay? Or even using a um, REST API to do it, okay? The next uh, menu uh, is the monitor and uh, it uh, helps you to manage your systems uh, deployed on the field. Uh, it will provide access to all the systems of uh, the company uh, along with their status, okay? So here you can see all the, uh, the systems uh, registered on, the, uh, on this Toradex account. Uh, and besides that, you can also see the communication history and perform uh, configuration of the systems and management. And the important to say that this page may be also customized according to according your needs. Okay. Uh, next menu is uh, configure, configure and uh, helps you to create and manage uh, templates, data sets, um, and I will show the alert rules, okay? Um, an alert rule is something uh, fully customizable. Uh, it may set uh, up to 10 conditions, okay? And uh, if all conditions are met, uh, an action can be set. So an action is also uh, customizable. Uh, it can be send an email, uh, call a URL, uh, send a comment to the system, or even apply a label to the system. Uh, and the next menu is the develop. Uh, each, uh, it allows the development deployment of firmware versions, uh, mainly mainly for firmware over there on Sierra Wireless uh, modems, and uh, also the deployment of application. An application may be, uh, for example, a Legato, Legato application that is our framework running on Linux embedded uh, devices, and uh, also the applications used to transfer data from the system to AirVantage. Uh, in this case, uh, Toradex is using an uh, application uh, running over the M MQTT protocol, so the deployment uh, is done uh, using this uh, menu. Uh, this menu also allow, allows the, the checking of operation status and manage uh, web APIs uh, to, um, for data collection from external uh, cloud or external service, servers, uh, external entities from AirVantage. Okay? It's also important to say that all data sent to AirVantage can be collected in the graphical interface. So is this... Uh, representation you can see here okay sorry 
that we will open the Toradex system. So all data um, can be collected in this graphical interface, but also uh, um, from external entities by using the web services APIs. Okay, so it will give us uh, full um, flexibility on that data management. That's it. Okay, uh, looking at the dashboard, now we have data being sent uh, for a few minutes. And as we can see, we can get the sensor data. Here we have temperature and luminosity. And we have the location, which is a nice thing to see. If I just zoom in to this map, just give me few seconds to zoom in. Okay, we are in this building in the street Luis Spandorelli Neto. And it is nice if I open the Trodex website. This is something Guilherme uh, told in the beginning of the webinar. I go here to the to the footer, and I can see that Toradex Brazil office is located uh, right in, at the same address. Okay. Uh, and we have uh, some other data. And here is the history over the last three hours. I can refresh data and get the latest one. And uh, there are two alarms uh, set here. Uh, the first of them is uh, for luminosity, in order to tell if it is day or night. Uh, they are, uh, the alarm changes the label of the system. As you can see here, it is day. Okay. And let me filter by night. You, we could use kind of a warning uh, label or a failure label and things like that in a real case. And we have no systems uh, telling that it's, it is night. But if you look at the webcam, I will just cover the light dependent resistor. Uh, and data is being sent every 10 seconds. So we have to wait a moment. And that's OK. We have a change system labels here in the right corner. And if I refresh the list of Devices, Toradex now has the night label. And now I have uncovered the sensor and it will switch back to day again. So here we have day. And that's okay. Uh, the second sensor uh, is an overheating uh, uh, alarm. And for that, I will briefly uh, do uh, two things. I will stop the application, run a stress over the CPU, restart the application, and you can see on the webcam I will cover the CPU with a plastic blister and make it overheat a little. Uh, this doesn't take too long. Uh, less than a minute. Okay, so temperature is at 61 degree right now. You can see here while I update. 63, we are almost there. Uh, 64, I just have to wait one more interaction of the main loop, the application. Okay, and here we go. We have 66 degree. If I go down here on the dashboard, we have system alerts and we have the overheating already there. I can open my email here and show you that we have received an overheating alert state change occurred. Okay, and going back to the dashboard. Felipe uh, explained it a little, but I could just set a new alert rule if I wanted. I will just create it. 
and say now it's dusk, dusk alarm. I will leave the description open, select my application, and the luminosity is greater than three uh, for the last value. And a new condition here, uh, data value is, and I will then put luminosity is less than five, between three and five, it is a transition from day to night or, and vice versa. And then I would create a, a new label. And that's how it's simple to to customize uh, your cloud application and things like that. Well, this is what uh, we had to show you from the uh, practical point of view. Now I will return the presentation to Guilherme and we will have a Q&A session. I can see we have many good questions here uh, uh, that were answered during the presentation. And and we will address them now. Uh, thank you very much. And Guilherme, you can proceed. Thanks, Leonardo. Uh, I hope you can hear me. So we are now on the Q&A session. I will mute my mic uh, uh, really quick and get back in five seconds with the first question. So we have a candidate from Mexico asking if uh, did we test the air prime embedded modules on Mexican carrier boards? I will ask Carlos to address this question. Um, so we have, uh, this is part of our job. Uh, we have uh, some hardware already uh, being certified by some Mexican carriers, but uh, it's totally dependent on your, um, which version, product version you're, you're in, you want to use. But uh, the, I think uh, we can drop you a message uh, later on. Uh, we have your contact details here. Uh, I will drop a message to you to better understand your uh, requirements and, and uh, offer the best solution for this for sure. Okay, there is a second question here uh, asking if it's possible to uh, use the 3G uh, Sierra Wireless 3 slash 4G moving, uh, but another IoT platform, not Sierra Wireless Air Vantage. I will ask uh, Felipe to reply to this one. Yes, it's uh, it's possible because uh, when you connect to another cloud service uh, side uh, that's not Air Vantage, it's something to be implemented uh, on your application. So. It's perfectly possible to do it. Okay, there is a, a, a still another question about the the IoT cloud, which is if Toradex has uh, IoT software gateway stack, and I will ask Leonardo to give more details. But what I can Say to you that is not we don't Tronex does not have a soft IoT software stack as a product, but uh, yeah, that's right. What we have is a Linux image which is tested and fully customizable, right? So you could use any stack you want. You could use uh, libraries provided, say by Sierra Wireless, or you could use. Uh, uh, general purpose libraries, like I used MQTT uh, with Python. Uh, you could use Azure APIs, you could use AWS APIs, IBM, and you could build your own application. So, uh, Prodex doesn't provide the software stack, but you have many options and you have uh, many choices which are easy to integrate with our hardware. Okay, there is a, another question here. This is for Felipe and Leonardo, which is uh, if the SDK from Sierra Wireless, it's possible to be integrated into Yoko. Thanks. 
Yeah, it is very possible. You would have to write a recipe to compile the kernel modules and another recipe to deploy the SDK. And you could then use the sample applications from CRRs or build your own and integrate everything in your software. If you want to see a little bit more about Yocto, I can recommend you to go to the Prodex website over here. I can show to you. Just let me change the language here. I bet few of you speak Portuguese. Uh, so basically, on the webinar session here, you will find our archived webinars and between these webinars you will find let me set up a filter here maybe this one you can find some uh, yocto webinars how how to use yocto there this is in brazilian but there is a version here part one and part two from last year uh, how to use the yocto to build and edit linux images so you can find some nice information over here. Uh, okay, let's move to the other question. Just allow me a few seconds to select the question here. Some people are asking for the slides and for the, the video. We will provide these uh, after one week or 10 days, usually uh, on our website, on the webinar archive, and you can watch again this presentation so there are some uh, question about dev kits for the molding. So I will ask Carlos to, to provide a way sir, with this one. Okay. Um, talking about this product time you're talking about, the mini cards, um, you could take advantage of uh, Turadex um, boards to easily implement. But uh, we also have uh, own development kits for mini cars, for HL family for Bluetooth, for Wi-Fi, GNSS mo uh, modules. We have a, a, a comprehensive uh, uh, collaterals and, and material for, for your hybrid prototype or test evaluation. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, I will check another question. Just give us one second. So there is a question about the 4G modules. Uh, which technologies are supported on the 4G modules? Uh, great, great question. Uh, I see here uh, you're asking about CAT M1, narrowband IoT. Uh, for sure, uh, 4G is not restricted to high throughput uh, technologies. We also have uh, uh, solutions uh, tailored for uh, low throughput, like uh, CAT M1, uh, the LPWA technology, like CAT M1 and narrowband IoT. It's not in the mini car families, it is in the H, HL and WP product families, but um, you can find in the serialwires.com uh, in the modules that have the HL and the WP families for catching one in Arabic IoT. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, there is a, a second question here about uh, 4G model which supports uh, other technologies at the same time, like 2G and 3G. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we had a complete uh, mix of uh, solutions. We can have uh, 4G, uh, CAT4 and 3G in the same uh, module. Uh, you can have a 3G and 2G in the same module. Uh, we have uh, a bunch of solutions uh, and mix for different type of technologies. Uh, thanks for all the questions. We are running out of time here. Uh, the questions which we did not uh, answer live, we will get back to you uh, by email. And uh, I would like to thank you for joining uh, this webinar. Uh, a special thanks to Leonardo and Felipe, which prepared the demo, and also for the Sierra Wireless team in Brazil, who, who accept our invitation for this webinar. Uh, Carlos, any last words? Uh, just say thank you again, uh, everybody, and, and you, Guilherme, Leonardo and Felipe. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the, the session, the content.
Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.